One of the government's initiatives that, uh, that I did want to, to highlight just briefly is something that they've called Open for Business, uh, which again is responding to what we've been talking about, getting rid of that red, the red tape, the, the bureaucracy. Uh, and, and again, we've seen uh, a, a dramatic improvement in certificates of approval under the environmental system. Uh, they had a backlog of 2,000. Sometimes people were waiting for months, if not years, to get an approval for an emergency generator. It made no sense. Uh, so they did streamline that process. They did deal with, uh, with uh, red tape improvements. But there's a lot more that has to be done. Uh, they have uh, come to see me and asked us to lead uh, part of their initiative, part of their uh, reintroduction of Open for Business, which is to identify our top five priority issues that we can resolve and get into motion in the next two months. So we're working uh, to lead uh, that for the manufacturing community. They've done a little bit with the building and land development uh, to identify their priorities. And then they're going to go through each sector of the economy and try and deal with the five priorities of each of those sectors. So we're encouraged on that. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's also uh, frustrating to talk about open for business when more and more regulations keep coming down the pipe. The uh, Toxics Reductions Act that Ontario has, huge concern for our members, not because we are against and uh, want to promote more use of toxics, uh, but we're already doing uh, work under the federal toxics reductions regime. Now we're doing work under the Ontario toxics reduction regime, and I live in Oakville, and they've just passed a new bylaw in Oakville dealing with similar uh, accounting for, for, for that. So they have a patchwork of, uh, of legislation, regulatory burdens that are dealing with the same issue but in a different way. One company was going to cost them a million dollars uh, to deal with the differences between the federal requirements and the Ontario requirements. So that's a message that we're trying to ensure the government is aware of and takes into account as they offer assistance to deal with, uh, to deal with manufacturers. Uh, so just to conclude, I see my time is just about up here. Uh, the, the business of competition, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's customers, it's service, knowledge, technology, people, logistics, and tapping into those global supply chains. And uh, those are the, these are the priorities that we'll need to, to be successful and ensure that we have a future for manufacturing. We're confident, uh, like the survey showed at the beginning, we are uh, cautiously optimistic. More and more of our members feel that there is uh, an important role for them to play as, the, as, they, as they move forward. And we're going to do all we can to ensure that we're offering assistance to manufacturers, both at advocating on their behalf and offering programming assistance and information and intelligence that will allow them to improve their bottom line results and to hopefully become more effective, more productive members of the, uh, of the business community. So I'm very pleased to be here to, uh, to share some of our thoughts with you and, again, just to highlight the uh, opportunity of collaboration, of partnership, working together to achieve common goals. Uh, we, we do believe in that and that's why uh, we look forward not just to participating today but to building the relationship and, and finding ways that we can work, uh, work together uh, in the future. The last point I'll make is something that we had with the Ontario government uh, called the SMART program, which was to offer grant funding to companies around the province to improve productivity and lean IT energy efficiency. Very well received program. Uh, hopefully some of the companies in this room were able to access that. Uh, the federal government was impressed with it. The new Southern Development, uh, Southern Ontario Development Agency provided us another almost $16 million to continue that program. We think there's still a need for that program. Uh, we have a bit of funding left for, for companies that want to access this, so please go on our website, the SMART website, to, to access that. And uh, hopefully we can uh, continue to play an effective role in helping our members, the manufacturers of Ontario and Canada, deal with productivity challenges and move forward. So with that, I will uh, answer any questions in the remaining moments. Otherwise, I'll be here on the break and would be pleased to talk to anybody. Thanks very much.